Oh. All right. It is the second day of the year. Let's get it. And to be honest, if there's anything I need to get, it's to get out of bed. I've been in bed for like 12 hours. But I am not complaining because I needed it. I'll tell you something. I was... I've been hung over for like 30 hours. I'm not joking. Since New Year's Eve, that hangover hit me like a brick wall. So uh, let's get up, let's get showered, and let's start this day. Also, how loud is that speaker? And the reason why I'm saying how loud is it is that speaker's downstairs in my kitchen. I love it. All right, so I'm sorting out this bed and getting this room sorted and like in tip top condition. But I'm here looking at this bed, right, thinking, how on earth am I supposed to build this bed frame with that slat section together? Like, the, 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 the it physically, with the bolt holes, doesn't make sense. And I'm here about to ring the, 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 the bedroom company being like, yo, happy new year. Where's my bed frame? But then I completely forgot. Uh, as, as I walked out here about to ring my dad being like, am I an idiot? Am I missing something here? Uh, they're there. So I've got to somehow get that without smashing any windows, doors or walls into there and build the bed. But today, um, I'm doing it. New Year, new me. I'm building that bed, okay? It's happening. One way or another. All right, leg one and leg two on. Time to get the bar across, the framing, the slats on, the mattress. Oh my God. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do this because the power of drunk Tom managed to carry that mattress, which I couldn't even express to you how much that thing weighs. Like, if there was, a, if there was a, someone trapped in the car and you were trying to lift the car up, off the person, like, superhero strength, I'll help you. That's how much I was struggling to lift that off. I was like, I can do this! But it was so goddamn difficult to do. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is somehow, maybe phone a friend, ask him to come help me, see if Big Sam will come up and help or whatever, but drag that back through here after I've got the slats on. I'll have my bed back in here. I can then move them units from there into here and I can start to have two rooms back in my house. Sweet. Mate, I am attacking this year with a get shit done attitude. Seriously, I've just rang uh, Twisted. Uh, oh no, I take it back, not Twisted. I just rang Urban Automotive, uh, a defender specialist, uh, about getting a roof rack installed with a light bar, uh, which hopefully won't get damaged in a way, a light bar, and uh, a new front bumper on the Defender, uh, like a nice kitted out one. So I went for a phone call back off then, which is illy works. I've just rang Tony, the decorator, about getting uh, uh, my hallway painted, because as you guys know, I love throwing parties and stuff like that, and with these guys bringing all the equipment in left, right, and center, all my walls keep getting scuffed up. That said, every wall in this house, you see like all the marks, has only got a typical like, trade white paint it's not like a good finish white or anything like that it's just the typical one they used to whitewash the house so i spoke to tony to come up and give me a quote because you see how messy and dirty it all is and scuffed up and scratched well tony is going to come and give me a quote and he's going to be here in 10 minutes and then when tony gets here i need to have a word with him about this bedroom because i need to get rid of that light move that speaker in front of here move that speaker, get rid of that light potentially, and same over here. I basically need to move it all forward. Then, once they've been moved, I need to get them covered up and the ceiling repainted. So, that's currently what I'm up to. Being productive, Thomas. Hey, and two birds, one stone. Didn't even think about this one. If I get the, the, uh, the slats on now on the bed, I can maybe ask Tony to help me move the mattress. Oh, 200 IQ. Oh dear, oh dear. Psych! We're gonna get it in. And it's actually not that heavy, so I can do this by myself. I'm keeping the curtains, just not specifically those ones. Yeah. Like you, what you say, they don't really go with the room. They're not really. <laughs> in keeping with the times. With the floor, Mate, why did no one as a friend tell me, don't pick curtains with different colored trees on? I don't know. <laughs> don't understand. So anyway, I'll get rid of them. I picked them. <laughs> That's actually true. Right, I need this painting. There's no way this has been enough. You move right. this on your own? I move this on my own. Right. Should we do it like that and then just slide it through, yeah? yeah. How the f did I do this? <laughs> right, 
You have no idea how, that, how much that's just helped me out with my house, getting it in shape. Oh! What? What are you doing? <laughs> Great success. All right. We are moving forward in the right direction. Um, Tony is going to come back in two weeks and get all the, the walls painted with all the marks and everything like that. I am going to try and speak to my dad about getting these all moved, which is a winner. And I've spoke to the bedroom company about this situation uh, with it not fitting. And he said they're going to come. Uh, they're going to ring me tomorrow morning at half nine uh, and work out the plan of action. The only plan of action that I can see happening is this is going to have to be changed. Like this, I think they'll have to change this end panel the size of the bed and both the units. You might be like, change bed. Now the thing is, that mattress, I couldn't actually tell you how much the mattress is. Let's just say it's a thousand pounds. I don't know, it's probably more, it's probably less, I don't know. But all my bedding, like you know I always said to you guys, all my bedding is like my favorite bed in the world, like super comfy and it's not cheap. I told you, it's like probably about three grand's worth of bedding. You might be like, what? But as you guys know, I believe you should spend a lot of money on where you sleep. Because you spend like, as you guys say, a third of your life there, not half, whatever. So if they say like, oh, we'll change the size of the bed, not only do they change the size of the bed, which is the cost of a new mattress, it's then the cost of all the new bedding, which will just be so expensive. So I can only see the answer being, they're gonna have to change this, this, and this. Uh, and then hopefully, hey presto, we're, we're on to a winner. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, the ball will be rolling in the right direction. Oh my God, dodgy wall gap because I've got this like random, do you know, I have no idea what this is for. Maybe water, maybe electrical, I have no idea. But the gap between the bed being central and the edge of this, oh my God, <laughs> it's perfect. Yes. I measured this cable to that very fine point there which is the size of the unit which to see if this would fit in here and the answer is it doesn't it goes over it by like that much so i can't put the other bedside cabinet here unless 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 i can somehow oh, i don't think there's enough to gain i was like if i can maybe squeeze it up a bit but it's right against the edge there and i've only got about that much room dang it oh, oh there's a white poo down the wall hello Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. What are you wearing, Cab? Um, a coat of arms. Oh, nice. Just checking that you're wearing a Syndicate original hoodie. Nice venture, Ellis. I'm rocking the, uh, the Sword Out Limited Edition one. Oh, yeah! Who's ready for food? Yay! I've not just eaten a chicken pie. You've eaten a chicken pie? I ate some cheese pies and chocolate. Mate, she, made, she made a homemade three cheese pie and it's the best pie I've ever had. I thought we were supposed to be eating together. Yeah, I've not eaten. Yeah, we're going to mum's for dinner. I didn't have pie. <laughs> You've had enough chippy tits. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the bloody hell? All oh, right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come clean. I had some chips. <laughs> NYPD, where's the food? Where's the mother food? Oh, that's a nice hamper. Suits you, sir. Oh, yeah, I still need to replace your Christmas present. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice, 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 nice. nice. I don't want to know about it. All right, you keep that to yourself, naughty man. What? I know. Are you? Whoa, what's this? Everyone's repping their swagger. Come here. Happy New Year. Oh, look at the table. It's so lovely. Oh, I just completely punched you in the face. I'm so sorry. Wait. Why? Why am I not in this photo? Is it just the women of the family? Yeah. Oh, look at that. My mum, Alice, and my grandma. Aww. Right, listen. If we're, if we're talking about amazing Christmas gifts, my mum's just walked in and given me a picture of me holding a cock. Yep. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Exposed. I'm sorry, but what does she expect me to do with this gift? <laughs> so when, when guests come in my house and I'm like, oh, this is the lounge. There's a picture of me with a chicken. <laughs> Gary Glitter had a sale on. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Darren, Darren, I'm going to... She got in for a beer, yeah? <laughs> she did as well. Explain <laughs> where I should put that. Next to your bedside table, picture you holding a cock. <laughs> Me and my cock, chilling. Oh. But what's, what's it? Karen, explain. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's pretty good, isn't she? Karen, new year, new Karen, come on.
19 hours later, <laughs> Karen single handedly has nailed the dip. I'm 17 beers deep. Whoa! You're doing the exact same thing. I'm not. Deserve, Robbed me. Deserve, Darren, Merry New Year. Merry New Year. Alright, I'm having a great year. Merry yeah, New Year. Stop it. Yeah, do you want me, Mum? Oh, don't. I haven't got one anyway, so it doesn't Merry New Year. What's the most popular Christmas wine? Yes! Oh, it hit him in the head. Terrible. What is it? What's the most popular Christmas wine? Don't know, what is it? I don't like Brussels sprouts. Ah, <laughs> get it? A wine. <laughs> it, now you're glittery for the New Year. <laughs> Uh, Whoa! Whoa! Okay, no. Nope. Nope. We, we all don't seem very impressed by um, the new TV show Dracula. What are you giving out of 10? Mum? 2.0. Mum? 7. <laughs> 7? It's got the potential to go places. Just, yeah, just not episode. Well, there's more of this crap. He's going to bite in there. Thanks. Well, well, what started as a really strong night, like the entertainment, the food, <laughs> the hilarity of this photo, it ended pretty poorly. Oh, then to make it even worse, she said I can keep it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I've always wanted that picture in a glittery frame. I'm not ungrateful, Mum. It's only why you are. Take it for what it is, it's a bit full. Give it. That's what I mean, it's actually hilarious. I can't believe we're leaving my mum's house. We got here like four hours ago. All I had to do was send Orion five clips to upload. And, oh, Alice wants to appreciate what she's wearing. Are you wearing flippy floppies? Cow flip, what, We've flippy got to make flops. some syndicate original flippy floppies by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, and a bath mat. You got a bath mat. I got shafted. But um, I can't believe that we turned up here four hours ago. Four hours ago. I didn't even manage to get my vlog loaded the entire time we were here. All I had to do was send five clips to Orion. Mate, this area needs an internet upgrade. A hey, goddamn ASAP. Make sure you um, charge your waterproof GoPro for tomorrow. My waterproof GoPro? Okay. Oh, wait, Carl, I don't think I asked you. What's your New Year's goal? New Year's resolution? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's my New Year's resolution? Get rid of this credit card line in the back of your head. Screw up. <laughs> He picked on me when I got in the car. Yes, you yeah, did. Yeah. I, it's to... I don't know what you would class as, but be in unbelievable shape for 30. That's my you want to be in unbelievable shape for 30, yeah, so which is how many months away? Three months. Okay. And I've got, and I'm like, and it's literally, that's why I've not eaten dessert. I've not eaten, like, I'm, the only carb I've eaten all night is <laughs> one roast potato. So, like, that's all I've eaten all day. And a few so. munches of my Yorkshire pudding. Whoa! So, Right, well, you can put you put your mind to it, mate, and you can you can do it. That's your New Year's resolution. I'll see you in three months, and we'll assess. New Year, new points on the license, and away they drive, and then in I come, home sweet home, cock in hand. Well, I feel like, seen as though. I've got a bedroom that needs filling. I like how I'm taking like one step forward, but then backwards to get my uh, life rearranged. But we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. But seeing as though in my room now, I've got all this room to be able to put things. I'll put that there. <laughs> the perfect location. New year, new me. That tree is coming down. I, I was actually going to take it down on the first when I was drunk. And I probably would have done myself a favour because... Drunk Tom would have done it perfectly because, you know what, Drunk Tom has the stages of I can't talk and I don't know what I'm doing, uh, which is not proud to admit in in, in, in vocalness. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> but then Drunk Tom has the ability to hide things from myself, like from Sober Tom, um, which is a pain in the ass. But then Drunk Tom actually does get shit done and would have put this Christmas tree away. But everyone was telling me, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, and wait until the 7th of January. I'm not particularly sure why the 7th, but if that's what you're supposed to do, that's what you're supposed to do. But you're hearing it right here, right now. That Christmas tree is not staying up all year. It, it was a thing that I did as like a joke. It wasn't funny, like, at all. But I've had my way with it. I, didn't, I don't need it anymore. Christmas has been fun. It can come down. 
I will not be the owner of a festive tree because I didn't even at Easter put eggs on it. At Halloween, didn't decorate it. Instead, I put it outside in the rain and forgot about it. So we'll be saying goodbye to the tree. I have to uh, outro this vlog right now. Uh, again, as usual, don't know where I left off because uh, guys, in tomorrow's vlog that you're gonna watch, uh, I'm going swimming with sharks. So not sure how that's gonna go. Not sure if I'm ever gonna see you again. Um, hopefully it goes fun and I don't die. And uh, if it does, Hopefully I got it on camera, otherwise it weren't really worth happening, was it? So Can you, you flip the boat? No, I can't. I actually can't. So, I'm going to have to say, thank you very much for watching. I look. Uh, okay. I'm going to love you, leave you, and mum, if this is my, th this is my will and testament, everything goes to my mum. Thanks. <laughs> but no, guys, I am going shark, uh, swimming sharks tomorrow. Tune in, don't miss it, hopefully on time, 7pm. Can you flip the boot? No, I can't. Just open it, lass. It's unlocked. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.